Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. Sasri Akal, namaste to everybody who's listening in always, always to all of our programs. And we have a smiley superstar, our international expert, Paul. Hello, how are you today? I'm good. It's really great to see you again, Zora. Yep, same here, Paul. And we both are fairly, very, very excited today because, again, as we've been speaking to all of our community members in Pakistan, this is another big leap for us in Pakistan and also the startup economy that has transpired, Paul, for the past two years now and that we see Pakistan um, and the Pakistani community is quickly uh, latching on to these international best practices, in fact, trying to uh, replicate successful models here uh, in Pakistan and internationally. So, well, we're here today to launch the Pakistani chapter. Yes, you've heard us right. Uh, it's the Pakistani chapter. I'm not going to be speaking too much, and I would want Paul, you, to kindly, yes, uh, tell us a bit, tad more about uh, why you thought it was essential uh, that you, because this is brilliant for us, a Pakistani chapter to the entrepreneurial international mindset and this entire brilliant platform means the world to the community. How are you feeling today and what would you like to say to us? <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Sora. Uh, well, hello, everybody who's watching. I'm Paul Coyle and I'm the director of an organization which is called the Entrepreneurial Mindset Network. We're the premier international network which is dedicated to the entrepreneurial mindset. Our vision is that everybody, and we mean everybody, can benefit from having an entrepreneurial mindset. Now, it might be that there's somebody who's running their own business or wants to, but it doesn't have to be. You could be employed, you could be working in a private company, a government office, a charity, a social enterprise. All of those people, everybody, everybody watching today is welcome to join us. We currently have members in 89 countries, including Bangladesh, China, Iran, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and Turkey. And I'm delighted to be invited to speak to Zora today because together we want to announce the creation of the network's Pakistan chapter. And yes. that will be dedicated to supporting the people and the country of Pakistan. And it's such an exciting opportunity to be collaborating with Zora and Mentoring Hub in Pakistan and the Entrepreneurial Mindset Network to create this new opportunity, which we want to bring to you. It's really easy to join and to find out more information Great. about us. Go to the website, emindset.network forward slash Pakistan, which you can see on the screen here. There's a very short sign up form to complete, and you'll instantly become both the member of our international entrepreneurial mindset network and the network's Pakistan channel. Wow. Wow. I, 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 thank you so much for such a now We're really looking forward to welcoming you to us for events, classes, everything that will help people to develop their entrepreneurial mindsets. Yes, and, and uh, I would also like to mention here the fact, Paul, that as you must have been following how uh, Pakistani economy and the current government of Pakistan has been yeah. putting in their efforts to speed up the, uh, the financial bait as well as the economical side, also bring in a lot of business uh, to Pakistan uh, to help the economy recover positively. Uh, this is a milestone because as of now, we have not yet had a superb international network come down and make a Pakistani chapter. So I'm superbly excited and so is our team. We would also like to ask you this one little thing. And if you could yeah. kindly share with the community of uh, since the time we've been uh, you know, in, in touch and since the time that you have been looking at Pakistan, the Pakistani economy and how the youth or these freshers that you watch on TV, these startup mentors coming out sure. right and center. What do you feel are the most significant gaps that you would really want us to address together? Well, I think that what I would say to you, Zora, and I know we've talked about this many times before, the mindset can be about starting a business, but it doesn't have to be. This is about how do we empower every individual to make the best of their life. Yes. And that could be a young person who's a student studying 
and is thinking about the sorts of career they want to have. It could help a parent. It could help a business person. It really is for everybody. It's for the about it. I can make this happen. So it's about helping yourself, obviously, but what are going to help my family? How do I help the people in the street that I live in, the neighborhood, even my city, even the whole country of Pakistan? What are the big issues in my country about how we live together, how we make money, the economy, how we support each other, the social... Which is most important. Great. Okay, that sounds... That sounds a bit overwhelming, yes, also. Why? Because uh, there are, yes, yet when I asked you that question, there are still so many things that run through our minds when we're talking about international best practices or experts like you, great experts like you would come down. And what I really like most, and I, because I've been through the course and this comprehensive program myself, and I'm, and I'm ready to watch on the fact that it's changed my perspective, Paul. More to say the fact uh, the most brilliant thing about you and your content and especially the mindset and the network is the fact that it's customized every single time it starts to seep into a certain kind of community. So we're not looking at a situation okay. where we would have just one Bible that's being followed and, you know, and that there'd be no adaptability to the kind of people it's adhering to. That's the best thing that I like about it. I, I think this is true. What I would say to you is you already had the mindset and what the course that we did together did was prove to you that you already had it and just explain that in a little bit of more detail to you, convinced you. I, I want to say that this idea that we have is, is going to build from the people themselves. We're not going to say to people, here's this other information in these other countries that you need to learn about. What we're going to say to you is, you already have this ability. We just want to convince you <laughs> that you can do it yourselves. And that what we're talking about is what you care about, what is relevant to you, what really matters in your neighborhood. These are the, the most important ideas here. So this isn't a foreign idea being imposed on people that they're gonna struggle to learn. This is a a revelation, a confirmation that this is common sense stuff that you already know. And we can help you to feel confident and excited about using the mindset. Perfect. And uh, thank you so much for that intercept as well. And uh, I would also like to add here, Paul, uh, and I'd like the community who'd be hearing and watching the launch here, uh, the fact that we've already started penetrating the Pakistani market and the community with programs wherein we, we had just become a part of the Connected Women International's Pakistan, Pakistani Wings Entrepreneurship Challenge, as you, as you remember, and that uh, the entrepreneurial mindset was represented by us there wherein we were able to mentor these women, uh, these 50 uh, uh, startups, uh, startup founders together on the mindset, which was brilliant. And uh, um, other than that, we've been also involved with uh, these group of brilliant entrepreneur budding children, which was amazing, as we told you about. And now I'd like to share here what I just shared with Paul uh, before we began recording was the fact that we're now going to be also uh, a part of the a, a faculty part of the first entrepreneurship college in Pakistan, because there's there has been no concept before this. And we're looking at a national academic system now having us an extra course, which is we're going to start from leadership and we're going to be uh, offering this leadership course, customizing it and infusing it with the e-mindset um, networks, knowledge and this entire brilliant thing from uh, Paul and their team. And we're going to be bringing it together to offer to these kids who are in grade 11, grade 12. So we're looking at an entire group now, a pack 
it's so it's so it's so fantastic because uh, you know it, it is really true that kids themselves can have the mindset and that people can learn it quite quickly you know we're not saying to people it's going to take you a year to learn it we're going to say to you spend a couple of hours with us and we can convince you about what the key elements of this are and you can put it into practice straight away you can make a difference straight away and it's so exciting to hear that uh, children will be having that experience. I know. And, and these are kids who are going to be preparing themselves for university and education abroad, which means we want them to have the mindset as of now, before they even begin fishing around for institutions and possibly look for a career option after they finish high school. So that's pretty much exciting as well. And there's going to be a lot more coming to the screens. You're going to be watching um, our launch video and then you'll be getting a lot of poster information as well, where we sharing the kind of programs and workshops we'd be bringing together with Paul and the team at the eMindset Network. So you guys uh, have to watch your screens and be very, very vigilant because we're going to be bringing on to the Pakistani community something that's been never done before, a pioneering concept. Thank you so much. Okay. I can't hear you. You're you're on mute. I hope you can hear me now. Can you? Am I audible, Paul? I think I think that went very well. I think there's. I hopefully you feel that you've some good. Did it work? <laughs> 